But let's get across to Saturday night over at Mount Smart Stadium. The New Zealand Warriors host the Newcastle Knights. Now for the Warriors, Sean Johnson is coming back in after missing last week's game, which was smart. They were never going to win that game anyway. Dylan Walker returns to the bench, but for the Knights after that pulsating win over the Canberra Raiders, Jackson Hastings is out, as is Lachlan Fitzgibbon with a shoulder injury. So it's not at all ideal there coming into that. The Warriors are pretty short price favorites currently at $1.54 with a minus four and a half line. The Knights, $2.55 plus five and a half. The over-under is 41 and a half. And as we know, the Knights have won 10 on the bounce. And like you just said about the Roosters being near flawless for the last six weeks, well, for the Knights, it almost feels like it's coming to an end here. It nearly came to an end last week. They got away with it. And now it's just like, we have to fly to New Zealand. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, exactly. And um, you would think that uh, the Warriors can just arrest some of the momentum that they lost yeah. last week returning back home. Uh, the latest on Sean Johnson is that he trained solo on uh, on Wednesday, I believe. He won't train with the group today just to give his calf yeah. every possible chance. Obviously, in, in a do-or-die game back home, you just have to play him. Yeah, um, you've got to play him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Warriors have just been too good to – you know, this season to let what happened last week define define their season. Um, yeah. and, and I think they've shown enough resilience, um, you know, and enough on both sides of the ball. Uh, and 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 they've just had enough contributions a- across the park to to think that they'll be able to, to bounce back after last week. The Knights obviously they look they might have Similar, similar to what I was saying about the Roosters, like they, they've been on on this incredible run now, ten straight. Um, when does that start to, you know, to to create fatigue in the in the group, yeah. mental fatigue? Um, and maybe it was, you know, having to go the distance against the Canberra Raiders last week in in what could have been their sort of, you know, their final, um, which is why I'm I'm leading leaning. Um, New Zealand in this one, uh, you know, with that line at, at five and a half points, the Knights, they can, you know, they can keep this one close for sure. Uh, the the Warriors, Warriors haven't covered for the last month. They've been horrendous yeah. despite, you know, winning games. So it's just like uh, they've been kept keeping other teams in it or getting blown away when they've been beaten. Yeah, but, and I wouldn't. I don't place too much credence into that though either. They'd basically sign up top four three weeks ago, yeah. um, you know, resting players and sort of just just waiting for the finals to arrive in a sense. Um, look, I think this one can get over 41 and a half points. There's, a, there's enough good players in this game. Sean Johnson back in the team. That right edge is, is going to be lethal for the Warriors, of course, with Dallin Watane, Zelezniak on the end of it. Um, you know, he scored at least one try in six of New Zealand's last seven matches as favourite. Um, you know, Dom Young and Greg Marju, they're one of those guys is going to cross for one or two tries. Kalen Ponga, yeah. he scored a try in five of his last six away appearances. So, yeah, look, I'm, 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 leaning, I'm leaning the Warriors in this game. I'm going, I'm going to tip them to cover, but... I think that is truly a, a toss of the coin at, at with the line set at five and a half points. The value would be with Newcastle there to cover. Um, yeah. My pers- my personal feeling is I'm taking the Warriors. I just think that yeah, I'd, maybe it's the romance of it all, but I, I think the Warriors just um, you know they've had a good enough season to uh, to warrant getting in, getting themselves into a preliminary final. Not not to take anything away from what Newcastle have been able to do over the last two and a half months. But I think the Warriors, this is, this is truly the week where, where home ground is a, a huge advantage yeah. with, with teams facing such a, a taxing period. And, um, you know, obviously no team is going in fully healthy either. Yeah. And it, it's looked like sort of the Warriors even, last week and and that game against the Dolphins, like, well, we're going to get a home final no matter what in week two. If we can get to that and ideally into a prelim, then it's sort of a massive tick for the season. This is the one you absolutely don't want to lose. And 
Just having yeah. a look, I wouldn't be surprised given sort of a bit of the fatigue on both teams if we, if this is the game of the two that really opens up and similar to that uh, Raiders Knights game last week, it opens up like we can hit the bit here for Jim as we hear him. Thanks to Jim. Now, in your hungover state here, please write this that I threw together earlier this morning. So the Warriors to win 1-12. to Marju and Ponga both to cross the paint. But Watini Zelezniak to score two or more tries. And that comes out to, hopefully it updates, at $62.16. That's uh, substantial. Yep. I like I, I it. Sw- I swing hard. I swing hard when it comes to these ones. Like I, I thought, as I said, I think this game will open up a bit. And for the Warriors, mm. you think Watini Zelezniak will score a couple of tries if they're to win. And Pong is just his shoulders that full of that many jabs at the moment. He won't feel anything. And Marju's been in great form all year. Yeah, exactly. And and the Knights can um, can see tries out wide as well. Yeah. Uh, with Tiny Zelezniak, he he's obviously a, not that this is any uh, any great analysis, but he's scoring a, a ton of tries, um, <laughs> and, and, and he can do it in multiple ways as well. Um, we've yeah. seen him score. Uh, via the kick uh, through the air as well. He's a massive chance to score more than one try. Um, and both of those night swingers have just been in supreme form. They're pacey, they're big, they're physical, they're tough to, to bring down close to the opposition try line. So I like that. Um, <laughs> Ponga, again, uh, numb shoulders. So, you know, can't feel anything. Why yeah. not? <laughs> <laughs> Booked him in for surgery next Wednesday after Mad Monday wears off. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm I'm on board with that. I'll I'll, uh, I'll give that. I'm, obviously, it's a long shot. Yeah. So I'm giving it a six out of ten, which is better That's than like a, a, which is better than a fifty fifty. Um, you know, midway five out of ten. So look, I think you have got to be happy with that. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.